Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Holy Smokes Barbecue Channel. Here in the United States, it is 4th of July weekend and a very just traditional, like staple food of 4th of July and like cookouts, barbecues, are hot dogs. And today here on the channel, we're gonna make some hot dogs, but not just any ordinary hot dogs. You know, we don't do anything ordinary here on the channel, right? Now today we're doing smoked hot dogs three ways. We're gonna start with a mac and cheese barbecue dog. Then we're gonna do something I'm calling the DLT, which is the dog lettuce and tomato. And then finally, we're gonna combine two 4th of July staples into one and make pizza dogs. Listen, this is gonna be super simple, so I'm ready if you are, let's get started. All right, so here we have our all beef hot dogs. Now, I love all beef hot dogs. Maybe it's just because I'm, you know, a beefy kind of guy. But you can use whatever kind of hot dog you want. I prefer bun length, something like this. Let's go ahead and take these out. All right, there we go. Now, these dogs are uh, still linked together with the casing, so that's not a problem. Just gonna kind of cut those apart. Now, the thing to remember about a hot dog is that it's already cooked. You could literally pick this up and eat it right now if you wanted to do that. And so really all that needs to happen is these just need to get warm. Well, today, we not only want them to get warm, but we want them to get smoke. So let me show you my favorite way of getting a good amount of smoke into these hot dogs. Because just like this, they're not gonna take on a ton of smoke. So watch this. First, I'm gonna separate these dogs. All right, so I'm gonna take one of these dogs here and I'm gonna score this. But I'm only gonna score it on one side, kind of that top side. So I'm gonna do, Again, you want your, your knife to be super sharp, just like that. You don't want to go too far into it. Just enough to kind of pierce that casing. Now I'm going to turn it this way and do sort of that crosshatch pattern. Done this on pork butts before, um, cream cheese, obviously. And what this is doing is sort of opening up the dog. It's going to prevent it from, you know, popping all over the place and it's gonna allow some smoke penetration to happen right inside there. You can't really see a lot of it right now, but take a look. You can sort of see how that's going to open up. Just like that. Let's take another one here and I'll show you one more time how we do that. Just pick a side, any side. We're gonna score this direction on that diagonal. Flip it around and go this direction. Now we are doing our hot dogs three ways, but that's mostly gonna be the toppings and stuff. I am going to smoke them all the same. All right, so there's two. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these. Now I'm gonna tell you something that you're not going to believe, but I'm not gonna season these. And that's because most of our flavor today is gonna come from these delicious toppings. We are gonna throw some different stuff on there at the end to make that flavor really pop. But really what I'm trying to achieve right now is a good smoke flavor. So let's get these over to the smoke. All right, I have my Pit Boss Platinum Series Lockhart firing at 250 degrees Fahrenheit today. That's gonna be the temperature for our hot dogs. Now, it's probably gonna take about an hour for them to uh, really come up to that temperature. What we're really gonna be looking for is, uh, is those kind of uh, hatch marks to open up a little bit. Uh, that's really when we're gonna know that they're done because again, they're already cooked. You could eat them just like this, but we want them to get warm, but we also want them to get some smoke. So I'm gonna put these dogs right on the main cooking grates of the Lockhart, and we'll be back when they're done, and then we'll start to build them, and we'll show you what these hot dogs three ways look like. All right, let's get these guys on. I want these all to be kind of in a similar position because I know that the Lockhart goes from hottest to coolest. So right in the middle should be a good spot for them. Whoop, almost had a runaway. All right, and you can see I put them on there with those cross hatches all up. That's gonna help them hopefully stay put and absorb maximum smoke. All right, be back when they're done. All right, it's been exactly one hour. Let's take a look. Oh man, look at that. Yeah, those have opened up really, really nicely. They look beautiful. I could tell from the color on them that they had gotten some smoke. All right, let's get them off and make some stuff happen. All right, so today, I'm gonna be using brioche hot dog buns. These are split top, which I love. I do wanna add a little layer of kind of toastiness to these, so I'm gonna take my bread knife, and I'm gonna cut just 
a teeny tiny sliver down the side like that Do the same thing over here like that I'm gonna grab some butter just right down the side do that on both sides and I'm just gonna put these on my flat top just long enough to you know brown them up a little bit all right these buns are now gorgeous look at that all right so let's open this up here like I mentioned we're gonna start with the uh, mac and cheese barbecue dog so I'm gonna start with that beautiful dog look at that look at how pretty that is oh so pretty and now of course we've got mac and cheese this is uh, been actually uh, it was pre-made mac and cheese that I stuck in the smoker to give it a little bit of smoke flavor and warm it up at the same time. I did add a little bit of extra cheese to it. So we're just going to put that right on top of this dog. Yes. Don't skimp out on me, people. Mm, smelling good already. Next comes a little drizzle of my homemade Holy Smokes barbecue sauce. And we're going to top this one with some crispy fried onions. Whew, man, does that smell amazing. All right, one down. Next on the list is the DLT. So again, nice, beautiful bun. Open that up a little bit. Now I'm gonna start this one by putting some QP Japanese mayo right into the bun like that. It's my favorite mayo, love it so much. Next, beautiful smoky dog. Now just another little layer of mayo. Did I mention I love this stuff? Some shredded lettuce right on top. Some freshly diced tomato. Just like that, right on top. Little pinch of salt, little bit of pepper. And there we go, two down. And then our final dog is gonna be the pizza dog. So we take our final beautifully toasted bun, open it up here. I'm gonna start with a little layer of some of my wife's homemade uh, pizza sauce. This stuff was great. We actually had it on pizzas last night. So I'm just gonna lay that right down in the middle, kind of along the middle of the bun here. Next comes our dog. A little bit more of that so that it kind of gets into the dog itself. Just kind of paint it on. Beautiful. I'm using Cooper Sharp Cheese today. If you can find this stuff, <laughs> it will take your pizza game and this delicious hot dog game to the next level. And from here, it's whatever pizza toppings you like. I'm gonna keep it super traditional and simple today and just go with pepperoni. And right on the top, just kind of like we did our, our tomato. And then you know me, I can't have pizza without some crushed red pepper flakes. Now this guy is actually gonna go back on the smoker just for, I don't know, a couple of minutes until that cheese melts. And there it is. Oh man, does that look good. The final little bit of color just gonna add some parsley. All right, there's number three. Okay, time for the big reveal of our smoked hot dogs three ways. Look at that. Whoa, those look so good. Each one distinctly different, but equally delicious. All right, comment down below which one of these you would try first. The smoked mac and cheese barbecue dog, the DLT, or the pizza dog. Which one you got? All right, which one do I go with first? I don't know, the decision is difficult. I actually think I'm gonna go with the DLT first. I wanna try that. Um, I feel like it's the lightest of the three, so I'm gonna try that one first. Beautiful layers of that mayo, lettuce, tomato, salt, pepper, of course the hot dog. Here we go, oh, I'm dropping stuff already. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Listen, you can taste the smoke on the dog. Love it. Oh my gosh. That is delicious. Okay. That one definitely gets a holy smokes. Next, let's move on to the pizza dog. Oh, that melted Cooper Sharp cheese, the pepperoni, that sauce that's hidden in there. Here we go. Mmm. Oh my gosh. It's a little bit richer than pizza because the addition of the dog and the smoke. But oh my gosh. And that little bit of red pepper, gotta love it. There's a tiny bit of heat. So dog number two definitely gets a whole smokes. All right, and then finally, it's the one that we started with, the smoked uh, mac and cheese barbecue dog. 
with those crushed fried onions on top. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get this side, actually. Oh, can't wait for this. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh man. Oh man. Whew. That tastes like a barbecue. I mean, it literally does. It's all the things that you love about an outdoor cookout, just stuffed together in one dish. So dog number three definitely gets the holy smokes. I mean, holy smokes, this is all incredibly delicious. Now I know what you're thinking, what's the best one? So let me give you my own personal ranking. Let's start with the DLT. I really feel like the DLT has gotta be number one. I just love it. It's insanely good and it's, it's, it's just fantastic. I can't say enough about it. For the pizza dog though, I gotta go number one. I just think it's the best. It's so, so good. Tastes just like eating a pizza. And for this mammoth mac and cheese barbecue dog, I mean, what can you say? It's got to be number one. So delicious. Tastes just like I'm eating a barbecue. Well, you can't see it, but my son is standing right there and cannot wait to eat one of these hot dogs. And so thank you once again for tuning into the Holy Smokes Barbecue channel. Hey, you know what? It's actually National Hot Dog Month. How have I not talked about that? National Hot Dog Month, you've got to try one or all of these incredible hot dog options. If you like this video, make sure that you click the thumbs up to give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. If you're in the US, I hope that you have a fantastic fourth celebration and definitely check out one of these other two videos of some stuff that we've cooked up here outdoors on the channel recently. And I'll see you next time.